got to the harbor. Jeff Armstrong used to protect and serve the public as a police officer, but an injury forced an early retirement. So now he's Dr. Armstrong, marine biologist protecting the ocean. We may come across as many as 60 or 70 different species. He's part of a team responsible for tra tracking marine life in areas where the sanitation district releases treated wastewater. We want to look at fish for signs of health that live right on the bottom so they're coming in direct contact with the pollutants. The cable's been let out, the net's on the bottom at the present time, and we're trawling at about two knots. Every fish that we bring on board, we weigh and measure. 215. And we identified a species. Long fin sand dab. So we know how many of each fish that we have out here, each species of fish. The flatfish, they were still measured the same way from the tip of the nose to the beginning of the tail. You see they're slimy. And we look for uh, signs of uh, tumors, lesions, uh, any kind of sickness that, that might they might have. Identification isn't always easy. You might not guess this is a living creature. It's actually called an acanthoptilum. And I don't know the species name, they're very difficult to speciate, but that's the genus name. And it's a type of sea pen that we get very commonly. Helping to protect the ocean, doing a job they love. With the crew aboard the research vessel Narissa, this is Valerie Starn for Time Warner SoCal News.